Hello guys, so I welcome you back on Jagdan Farms, your favorite channel where you get to learn everything catfish farming. So today I'm right at my farm, my duckweed pond, trying to fertilize the duckweed pond again. It's been about three weeks since I last fertilized it and I can observe the growth rate is going down gradually. So I have to re-fertilize it to promote the growth rate of the duckweed. If you don't know what is duckweed, duckweed is an aquatic floating plant used to feed uh, uh, catfish or poultry. It's high in protein and uh, other vitamins which actually promote your, the growth of your catfish. It helps me reduce my production cost by reducing the feed cost of my cycle. So stay with me as I take you through the process. I have that cow dunk here. I have cow dunk right here. And I have some basin here where I will do my mixture. So I would have to just dilute my cow dunk into the basin with the water and then pour the liquid or the solution right into the pond. So bear in mind, what you should uh, try to do is to minimize suspended particles from the cow dunk and then into your uh, duckweed pond. The duckweed is a floating aquatic plant. So you would have to make sure there is no suspended particles on the surface of the pond because it tends to occupy the space that the duckweed or the azula requires to grow. Uh, to grow, sorry. So stay with me as I uh, mix it. This is about three day old cow dunk. It's best to use at least a three day old cow dunk. You have to mix it very well before you pour it into your pond. Remember, this is fresh cow dunk, the one without any sawdust or whatsoever. Don't and remember, just as I said, you try as much as possible to remove every particle that can suspend because they tend to occupy the space of the dark weed and then thereby retard their growth. So this is how the sea film is done.
this is a pond you can just construct anywhere on your farm it's just a wooden structure and then i've lined it with a polythene so guys this is how the fertilization of the pond is done and then uh, please remember that weed or azula requires just uh, six inches depth of water for it to grow so you can just uh, uh, minimize the depth of your pond and, and then still they will be fine so kindly don't forget to like the video and then subscribe and try as much as possible to get any supplementary feed it being azula dark weed black soldier fly to to actually reduce your production cost by reducing your feed cost for your cycle thank you for watching this video have a nice day bye bye